is an experimental residency, so things will occur uh, throughout the fortnight, really, and will just come from the artists working alongside each other, so it's very much like a network residency. We called it the Three Points of Contact residency, firstly because there's three locations that are involved. It's also a climbing term, like when you're climbing up something, you should have four points of contact, but then it will go to three points of contact, but you're, you're always safe on the three points of contact. I met the other two co-curators on a um, Kaluska Benkin funded curatorial trip to Portugal. We really got talking about the nature of artist residencies. And we were all interested in how we could bring artists together and the residency format was something where we could get artists to meet. And we were invited to this trip to go to Portugal and look at artists' works and maybe see whether we could propose a project that would bring artists back and that would act as a cultural exchange between the two countries. I think it was from meeting artists in Portugal who had been to Engelbino residences and they said, you know, I had a great studio, great flat, but I never had an opportunity to meet any other artists in the region. So the public didn't know that they'd been in London or Bristol or wherever. So it sort of naturally we just came to this idea of, well, let's let the public know by putting it in the gallery space and let them meet other artists by bringing the artists into the space. Collaborative research, however they wanted to lead it, but it just happens in the gallery space. We felt it was very important before the group of ten artists arrived to be able to find a way to introduce their work to the community and that's like our immediate community of staff and students and also the visiting public that come to see the building. We were able to get existing works from the artists and we made a show called The Interzone. It was called The Interzone because it was kind of um, in between. So the artists had started working in York and then we had this um, exhibition of works here in Glasgow and then we've changed the exhibition space of the Interzone into their studio space. The residency has provided a really interesting space to make work in. The studio for the artists is situated within the Macintosh Museum. The last time the Macintosh Museum was used as a studio space was over a hundred years ago as well as there being regional artists from the three locations having the opportunity to work together. There's also this international aspect as well. The artists that we selected, Von Kaliau, um, they work across a real spectrum of activity from printmaking, uh, filmmaking, experimental music, performance. Their, their spectrum of practice gave us a really broad range of other artists we would select to work alongside them. We really immediately liked the film by Von Keller and we, it struck a chord with some of the work that we've been doing with the idea of costumes and going out into the landscape. There's a darkness and a poetry but it's also a humour to it. We bring uh, almost nothing and what we've been doing is just collecting small ideas. It's very interesting to work with some people related with sound. We and uh, Mark and, and Stuart, we are working kind of serendipity. Even quite different practices, there are always these kind of parallels and kind of things that, you, that, that come up as well. So it's been, it's been very interesting. And often quite disparate things are linked in quite tenuous ways and I'm kind of always interested in those sort of quite fragile connections between different things that you wouldn't expect to be linked. Just having this space just is a ridiculously precious thing to have. So. It's just a different experience working within a communal environment and there's more kind of room for, I guess, challenging the way you work and being introduced to other people's process. It's just nicer than a kind of self-enclosed studio environment. This is the sort of first place I've, I've worked outside of an education establishment. It was the, the idea of working with other artists and building up this network, which I thought was quite essential to my development. It's not like we're forced into a group and we have to work together, but more that it's an environment where we can all each produce stuff. I think what's been good about having this, this time actually in the gallery as a studio space is because I haven't had access to the normal facilities that I'm using so I've tried out a few different things and there are things that I, I wouldn't have done or 
I've kind of been meaning to get round to kind of playing with. Sometimes I think too much about what other people think about my work and try to fit in. And now just being here and talking to other people who have got their own practice, I guess it's made me realise what I actually am and what I do, which is quite encouraging, and not to shy away from it. Because there's no emphasis on this end sort of piece or collaboration, that's given my work a, a lot more free flow. You never kind of settle, actually. So you're like always in this kind of difficult situation where it's not your kind of language, it's not your studio, it's not your kind of place. And that's kind of the risky thing, part. And I think that can actually inform the work. Having been at this particular art school twice, like, you know, the Macintosh Museum, it's a kind of pristine museum space. It's been nice to see it you know, used as probably was intended as a, as a proper, you know, working environment. What is completely amazing about it is there's like, there's not one experience of three points of contact. The studio space kind of gives this like snapshot of it really. For example, uh, TAP, um, they suddenly decided mid this week that they were going to um, make the, the last buffet out of gaffer tape on the wall. We all started thinking about how we're going to resolve the, the week and myself and Richard thought about an iconic piece that relates to this space. And then the idea of, of referencing The Last Supper obviously came about because we've been referencing a lot of religious imagery, but have slightly comic kind of quality. Yeah, comic sort of, uh, like a cartoon sort of quality as well. Uh, so there's a serious sort of message with, with that, like The Last Supper, but uh, we want to make it like a, you know, celebration. celebration. Yeah. We very much want to run a programme that illuminates the creative process and this thing of art actually being made in the space. It's not just about works arriving to go up on the wall as in an exhibition. It's so much more about the process that goes on in the making of the work. Tap will always remember this and never ever forget. So please all join me together and tap the table five times in thanks. Ready? <laughs> we just want it to be a catalyst. The connections that are made between all the artists in the group might go on to other projects in the future and that would be the most significant outcome of the idea of a network residency.